fundamentally progress means that you take the technology that we're developing and you make it work for humankind, right? Uh, the overall idea is to improve the experiences that we all have every single day. With that progress also comes a lot of responsibility, right? And how do we apply the technology in a way that's respectful, that is making people's lives better, towards creating value, towards um, being fair. So there is a lot of other um, aspects of progress that we still are trying to figure out. So I started my career in academia. I was a professor of mathematics and computer science. And then I moved to the commercial world. Um, and then after um, a number of years there working on the software initiatives, I decided to go to a startup uh, called Uptake in Chicago, where I work now. Um, I'm the senior vice president of the industrial analytics and I help customers use the data and the assets that they have in-house to create uh, insights that help them run their equipment better and to improve how their operations are deployed. So we work on developing horizontal capabilities that can be configured for all kinds of different machines. It could be a locomotive, it could be a wind turbine, it could be an uh, aircraft engine. And the idea is that we take data from all kinds of different sources, either from the asset itself or from the maintenance systems, or even from the geography or the weather where the machines are working. And we use that data to create prognostics and we help people better maintain and repair their equipment. Most importantly, we're trying to reduce downtime and to eliminate failures. You know, energy, energy is a really interesting sector because it's going an enormous transformation. Uh, it's going from the traditional oil and gas business to a lot of the sustainable uh, wind and solar sources. And those, um, those sources are very well equipped with data. So not only do you have the advantage of producing cheaper fuel, but you also have the advantage of uh, extending the life cycle and the um, productivity of those assets. Um, and that creates the ability to, to tell people in advance, for example, when a piece of equipment is going to fail, which gives them time to plan and which gives them time to stop the equipment so that it doesn't suffer from secondary damage or catastrophic failure. In the area of process or operations, you have the ability to fine-tune your operations so that there is less waste, less energy used, and more throughput. You know, the sustainability piece is very important because if you think about how we're spending resources today, we're spending about one and a half times the resources that we have. And so I think artificial intelligence and big data is going to help us bring that back to a, a sustainable amount that um, can preserve resources for the next generation.